Yo, what's going on guys? Troy here, weightgainnetwork.com and today I got a really intense body weight chest workout routine. And the thing about doing body weight exercises is if you don't incorporate any type of high rep training, whether it be body weight training or just high repetition in the weight room, you're never gonna reach your full genetic potential. And this is because you're not increasing the nuclei in the muscle cells. So for instance, if you're only doing five by five training or just training to get stronger and you're not incorporating any type of high repetition training into your regimen, your gains are gonna really slow down. And just recently I've switched to doing some really high rep short rest time, uh, like FST7, doing tri sets and giant sets into my arm training. And I've really seen some progress. So I'll show you guys a little update where my arms are at. But definitely a full 17 inches now. And it's all because I stopped trying to just do really heavy barbell curls. And I started doing lots of high rep, short rest time training. And why it's so powerful, if, in fact, if you guys never do body weight training at all, and you've only been doing weight room workouts, I guarantee you, try out this chest routine. Just throw it into uh, your workout regimen once per week. So do one chest workout in the weight room per week and do one uh, chest workout. Do this chest workout maybe on Thursday or Friday if you do chest day on Monday. And I guarantee you, you're gonna see some progress in your chest. I'm really gonna try to emphasize the upper chest in this video so you guys can look cool in a V-neck and a tank top. But the upper chest is usually really underdeveloped by most guys. So this is gonna be a high repetition, short rest time training regimen. I cannot emphasize enough how crucial it is to do short rest times with this training. So uh, enough talking, I wanna dive right into the routine and show you guys this killer chest workout. All right guys, let's fuck some shit up here. Got the extreme chest workout from the convenience of your very own home. I'm just going right here on my tile. Now, so crucial on this. We're trying to increase the nuclei in our chest, especially our upper chest with this routine. So what we wanna do here is go high rep, really short rest time, really channel yourself, get that mind-muscle connection going, and really feel the squeeze, feel the burn. So I'm only gonna rest about five seconds between uh, transitions, and I want you guys to do two total rotations of this. So here we go. So starting off, what we're gonna do here is you're gonna come down, back up here a little bit. You're gonna come down, and your hands are gonna go wide, back to in. So that is the first one, so really good. Hits kind of the center portion of your chest when your hands are inside. Get the outer portion of your chest when your hands are outside. So moving on, hands right around shoulder width apart. What we're gonna do is eccentric shoulder tap. So you're gonna go down to a count of three and explode up. And the interesting thing on that one is, it's almost like you're pushing off of just one hand because as you're coming up, the other hand's tapping the shoulder, so really awesome chest exercise. <laughs> I'm already tired because I've never worked out my chest doing body weight exercises anymore. Really need to keep that up though. <laughs> Woo! All right, here we go. Now we're gonna do chest tap. So similar to shoulder tap, but we're gonna go a little faster here, so. And holy shit, I'm tired already. Dude, try this routine, guys. I'm already tired. I've just been doing lots of weight room training with my chest and haven't done any body weight training outside of pull-ups. I am already tired. So next up, we're gonna do eccentric diamond push-ups. So remember, on the eccentric portion, we're actually gonna create more healthy micro tears. So really important that you go down nice and slow. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And as you can see, really trying to squeeze that upper chest and then let me get closer to the camera here. Show you guys what I'm gonna superset this with. So what you're gonna do 
is think of this motion when you pull down, how it activates your pectoral muscle. Right after you're doing those diamond push-ups, what I want you to do is come back here, pull down, and squeeze. Isometric hold, feeling it right here. Remember guys, this is gonna force more nuclei into the muscle cell, really activate some powerful growth. Try to hold it for 30 seconds. And uh, that is killer guys. So I'm just gonna do four, uh, show you four different push-up variations. It is really intense, especially if you shorten your rest times, like I did there, so, whew. Just do this, uh, do this two or three total rotations and you guys are gonna get an insane chest workout. And what you wanna do with this too is write down how many reps you do of each one of these push-ups and try to challenge yourself and always improve upon that score. So similar to, not a breath, <laughs> similar to like a compound exercise, like if you bench 275, you're always trying to improve upon that, um, that number. So. The next time you try to hit 280. Same thing with this body weight training, guys. So try out this chest routine at home. Didn't want to throw too much at you. I want you to stick to the basics. And this is a killer upper chest pump right now, as you can see right here. Whew, can't even talk. All right, guys, that's a wrap. But I had to show you these shoes. I just got freaking in love with these shoes. I got these in LA at some like fancy shoe store. They had Yeezy shoes at this store. And I asked the guy what the most expensive pair of shoes ever sold was, and he said $34,000. Someone bought some Yeezus shoes for $34,000. I almost bought these shoes that were like a giant tennis ball. I guess they were Michael Chang's shoes back in like 1994. And we got Halloween coming up around the corner. I am very close to deciding on my final outfit. Um, I almost don't want to give it away, but let me know what you guys think of this. I think I want to be Zombie Roger Federer. <laughs> so I got a pretty sick outfit going for uh, my Zombie Roger Federer. Um, I don't know, I just really feel inspired to be Zombie Roger Federer this year. If you guys have any better ideas, definitely let me know. And by the way, show you guys one more update on my arms. Um, I'm obsessed with my arms because it's like a genetic weak point for me. And I really think the high rep training with the short rest time is so powerful for getting my arms bigger. Funny thing too, my chest, a lot of you guys comment on my chest, my chest is pretty big naturally. Um, believe it or not, I'm not that strong with bench press. I know I can incline relatively uh, a large amount of weight, but flat bench press, I've never even done three plates, or I maybe have done it like one time in my life, working back up to that point right now. But I, I used to do a ton of like push-ups, I used to do a ton of like low cable fly with high rep short rest time. I would do a ton of like pec fly. So I would do a lot of high rep short rest time movements and it's no coincidence that my chest has grown really fast even though I'm not that strong. So even look at the physique of a power lifter or a strength athlete. You know how they look kind of flabby, they don't look that muscular and then you have a bodybuilder who doesn't really train for maximum strength but they just look freaking jacked out of their mind. Well that's because they incorporate this type of training. So. I'm gonna dive into some killer weight room workouts coming soon on this channel. It's gonna blow your mind and if you guys are really trying to speed up your progress, this is especially true for guys who've been in the gym for maybe um, anywhere from 18 to, I don't know, 36 months. So you've been in the gym for you know between one and a half to three, four years. It's gonna be so crucial that you incorporate these types of training to really get past those newbie gains and surge past your plateau. So. Anyways guys, I am signing off for now. If you are looking for more information on how to bulk up and gain lean muscle mass, head on over to weightgainmethod.com. See you soon guys.